Now daytime, well morning, it's like 6.30. I've been kind of fucking around, took the canvas off. Waiting on Home Depot to open because that's the closest place that's open the earliest. I need to get some hose clamps because my plan is, I wanna, you know, safety first. After the last video I took a spill, everything was fine, there was no fires, but if there was, I, I'd feel safer if I had mounted some sort of fire extinguisher. Just for, you know, you know, I'd rather have it not needed than need it not have it. So, that, I don't think I want to drill into the uh, actual roll cage, the ROPs. I don't know if it's a legal thing or a liability deal. I don't want to put a hole in that. So, I'm going to find some hose clamps, which I thought I had some around here. And I'm just going to try to figure out a way to mount a fire extinguisher on the roll cage right there so it's easily accessible. So, let's jump in the truck and go to the home despot. I just riveted the bands onto the thing, uh, the bracket, I guess. So I don't know if that'll hold. It's kind of flimsy, but this would be at least something, at least some kind of safety. And uh, I got a cooler, yeah, just turnbuckles and some wire I had laying around and kind of made up a little just harness to cinch it down. Let's just whistle this sucker on back. Yeah, I see why having a short bed. You got pretty good turning radius. So badly I butcher this. Ooh. Fucking trailer's too low. Must have sunk down in there. That sucks. <laughs> my janky little way to keep the handle up. Works. Out. I need more the grass too, it's getting long. I should be doing that instead of going to the off-road park, but that's just me. So this year I'm planning on cutting all this out and doing the actual hydraulic dovetail. Um, money just wasn't in the budget, <laughs> um, but now we're doing better. So we're gonna see if we can maybe start a Patreon and get uh, funding for steel, hydraulics, and uh, all the other nonsense that I know that's gonna come up. So for now, we got to deal with these uh, crappy angle iron ramps I made up. They're good. They work. It's just not as slick as a hydraulic dovetail.
So what you guys just saw there was severe slipping because I have zero tread or grip on the the uh, drive over fenders or the janky little dovetail deals. I was gonna put strips of wood here to kind of give a grip, but you see how far I got with that. Okay, now let's get this thing cinched down. And I know this is a problem, I fixed it. Probably should have said and let off with it. That's a new trailing arm. They're both tilted in, so I'm not sure that's how it's supposed to be. I'm confused, I don't know. I've adjusted it all the way in and out. It's not making any difference. I wonder if the frame is twisted or something. But it looks good. Nothing's too jazzed up, everything's square. We're gonna take this one a little calmer this time, guys. Wrong. We're not gonna flip it around. I kinda wanted to see uh, how this handles in general off-roading, you know, nothing too crazy, no speed, no tricks. You know, we're just gonna have a little bit of fun. You can see we got stuck already. The damn winch didn't work and then we got it to win. made it you guys we just had our fun you saw the footage i'm not gonna bore you guys too much with that i don't know if you want to see that but... oh my God. Go! Exactly up. so what we're doing is of course quick pet rest stop and then we're gonna go back home check the straps do all that good stuff but the trailer's doing fine i'm not too happy about that though a little fray it'll ride we got about 20 more miles before we get home but i need to find a different solution to these tie downs are obviously not built good enough so so then update as they come all right straight back you're good Thus concludes another successful trip of the RZR. Nothing broke. Um, we're good. Okay, where the f is all this dust coming from? What is this? Oh, wait. Oh, I get it. It's me.